Hi everyone, welcome to this episode of the Workspace Wellness video series. Today we're going to be talking about some health hacks to help you working from home. We're very lucky today to have Brian Humphreys from Shift and Simplify joining us. Thank you so much for being here, Brian. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what you do and how you work with businesses? Yeah, thank you so much for having me and uh, love to contribute in any way. So. Uh, Shift and Simplify is a fairly new uh, direction that we've taken. I've been in the health and fitness industry for over 15 years, uh, mainly in the uh, in and around the Hamilton area. Um, I've partnered up with uh, Chris Wilson, and Chris Chris's focus on the mental health coaching uh, wellness side is kind of bringing that mindset, uh, the fundamentals behind the the actual coaching. Um, and I've brought in more of the physical understanding and, and those health hacks that really simplify the process. There's so much content. There's so much there for everyone to try to figure out on their own and what we're doing is we're distilling the last 15 years of both of our lives 30 years combined coaching experience and distilling it down to like the most simple processes to follow and our goal is to be working with organizations that really um, appreciate the investment in their work culture and their work staff um, obviously understanding that the return of investment when you invest in your staff is is unprecedented it's it's you know, it's limitless. Um, and that's what we want. We have to have that, that healthy work place, um, because our, our staff can then thrive and be creative and, and combine both the, the work and the personal life together. We need to support, support our people to support our company. Yeah, absolutely. I so believe in that, in that importance of culture and team building. And my team has worked with, with you and Chris, of course, with great success, which is amazing. And so, before we get into some of these hacks and maybe kind of in that direction, tell me a little bit about how you answer those who say, we just don't have time for this. I think that's one of the biggest challenges, both on a business level and an individual level is I don't have time to worry about my own health throughout the day. You know, you're kind of just sitting at your desk and working away. Like what are some things we can do to give ourselves that time back? Totally. And I think this is a, this is a question that the the rabbit hole and the depth of this question, like we could <laughs> yeah. we could definitely spend a few hours just on this specific. And there are a bunch of hacks, time management, all these things, and journaling, and all these different um, things. I think we think will help us, uh, but ultimately, I like transitioning the word time to space. So we have to create space. And a lot of us are bogged down by all the different things that we think we need to take on. A lot of, and then that's what Shift and Simplify focuses on is. You know, unfortunately, about 80% of those things really don't matter and are, are aligned with our actual purpose and, and bring us fulfillment. Um, so that's our focus with Shift and Supply is to, is to really hone in on that. But in terms of creating space, we, we breathe all day, every day. So one of my, my, you know, first hacks to give anybody that really gives you um, an immediate response. It's not like you have to do this for a week and then all of a sudden you start feeling better. You get an immediate response from breathing. All of us are breathing, we're all subconsciously breathing. A lot, of, a lot of us aren't even breathing properly, let alone if we're stressed and or anxious and or who knows what, right? Just have a, have a busier day on the schedule. So I like to just start with just 10 simple breaths. And a lot of times, again, we're not breathing properly. So it's just relaxing your body, sitting up nice and tall. And, and throughout the day, we'll talk about it kind of later on in, in a couple other questions, but literally finding time to just create space. And by creating space, we take a breath. So literally, instead of taking a deep breath into your nose and lifting your shoulders as you do it, if you do that, your diaphragm, you know, actually like comes up with you and you actually like decrease the size of your lungs. The goal is that classic, just big belly breath, just like a baby, fill your, fill your belly full of a nice deep breath. So I like to say, sit up nice and tall. doesn't matter what kind of position you're in, if you're sport or non sport literally just take a nice deep breath into your nose, feel your belly rise, breathe out through your mouth. Just really simple. Again, we can get in depth and be like, well, how long am I breathing in? And like, how should I be sitting or standing? It's like, just take 10 deep breaths. <laughs> don't overthink like, it. <laughs> don't overthink it. And the trigger a lot of times is if you feel anxious or you feel overwhelmed, that's creating space. It's like, okay, so before I just dive into the next like X amount of time, I need to figure this out. Or you read an email and it triggers something. Just, just find yourself 10 deep breaths. And the next thing you know, you've got more oxygen to the brain. You've got a lot more, you know, clarity, and uh, and you can move on. So that's a simple health hack: breathing consciously. Yeah, that really is such a gift to be able to even take five seconds and check out of what you're doing, focus on taking a nice deep breath, and sort of resetting. Um, 
and that makes a lot of sense because obviously one of the biggest challenges for those of us working at a desk all day is you know you're stuck at a desk all day so there's only so many things you can do without sometimes even feeling guilty that you should be sitting there and getting your work done right so how do how do we work around that and what are some hacks for easy things we can do even though we do need to be at a desk a big portion of our day totally yeah and it's a great that's a great point and i think the habit of being at your desk and accomplishing x amount of things that you need to get done throughout the day that's a habit and we feel that we have to do that to get that result so you have to create a new habit and there's so many uh, great studies that talk about the simplicity of, you know, setting a timer. We have timers on our on our computers. You can add these, you know, you can actually shut your whole computer down with some of these extensions on Chrome that, that support us. I set my uh, my iPhone timers, and the goal is every ninety seconds. So finding that you're you're efficient, you know, for for ninety minutes. Sorry, I said ninety seconds for ninety minutes, and that timer goes off. And the goal is just to get up from your desk. Remove yourself from being into that screen and completely like incapacitated and like not aware of anything else, you know, in your surroundings. Just detach from all of that. Go for a walk, right? So go for a walk in your house. It's a great time to stack a habit. And that would be like drink that eight, eight ounce glass of water, right? Bite into that apple, whatever it may be, but stack that habit and be like, okay, I'm taking that 90, that, that 90 minute break. Maybe it's only five minutes long. Maybe it's only three minutes long, but studies show that just breaking up your day that way, right? is you, you give yourself so much the clarity coming back. Uh, you're actually like elevating your heart rate, like you're moving the chemistry around in your body. There's a lot more in depth, but literally just detach from it. Go for a quick three minute walk, come back to your desk. Again, you drank that glass of water, take those 10 deep breaths, and then jump back in for another 90 minutes. Yeah, that's amazing advice. And I have to say personally, I have found, I mean, I'm at the office sometimes still, but I have found working from home, I do a better job of that. Like I, I do have an alarm that goes off every couple of hours and uh, I do a better job of giving myself permission to take five minutes and go for a walk around the block. And I encourage my team to do the same. I don't know for sure whether they do at home, but I believe that does make a difference in helping us to work more effectively and have more clarity and, and everything, energy even throughout the day. Totally. Um, so because of course at Niche for Design, we're, we're experts in space and we're very interested in what we can do to create a, a physical environment or a space to help people be more healthy, both at home and at their regular offices. Mm -hmm. What are some things that we can do in the, to set the environment up so that people can be successful that way? Yeah, totally. And again, love everything that you do. Um, you know, just looking behind you in terms of the plants, like just <laughs> the, the vibrancy of that, you know, you've got such a nice sleek, clean desk, minimalism, you know, that's, that's such a piece of environment, right? Like clutter to minimalism, like there's a reason there because everything is energy and we can, again, the rabbit hole of that is, is pretty deep, but understanding that we have complete control of our environment. And some people might argue the fact that, well, no, well, we do, right? Like I, I do right now, I've got, you know, a beautiful wife and two children at home. I'm balancing, you know, running a few different organizations and working from home. And I was able to find a location that gave me connection to the outdoors. I've got beautiful natural light that comes through because I, I feel the need to be outdoors. Um, so being, you know, I've set that up. I've completely set that up for me. In terms of like health hacks, some people would work all day. And if you don't take those 90, those 90 minute breaks, you're not really, you know, aware of what else is going on. You're just buried into like whatever you think you need to do for the day. But it's the ability to say, if you want to eat healthy, it's having that bowl of fruit that's actually visible in your environment. You're 90% more apt to grab that healthy fruit if it's there for you. So even just simple hacks of just putting a bowl of fruit or bring some, you know, nuts, head to the bulk barn, pick up, go to your local shop and pick up some, uh, some of your favorite little snacks, uh, literally just have it there on your desk and you, you pick away at it. That versus having like a, a bowl of Smarties or some Hershey Kisses or something like that. Again, it's there. You're only picking at them because it's there and it's in your environment. So your body will adapt to that environment. Um, so again, love what you do uh, in terms of making sure that that's a healthy environment. But for us, set your desk up. Like there's, uh, in terms of, you know, being in business, I remember learning at such a young age, I can't remember if it was like John C. Maxwell or a Bob Proctor or somebody talking about like cleaning your desk off, like pledging your desk before you even sit down. It's just that whole conscious routine of just, it's a clean start and then at the end of the day, but it's actually like we're cleaning the energy. We're like dissipating, we're starting the routine or we're ending the routine. We're detaching from our workspace. So in terms of environment, 
set yourself up for you know hydration put that glass of water or that or that uh, water bottle in front of you put you know bring a banana and an apple in and sit it right on your desk so when that 90 minute timer goes off chomp into that apple stand up move around take those 10 deep breaths create the environment that allows you to thrive a picture of your children you know if you have it if you're if you're not finding motivation in your office you know spend the next five minutes finding a quote that that lifts you up and inspires you post that up put it on any wall put it on your backdrop wherever you need to do it create that environment for you i love that those are such simple things that we can do and there's really no excuse not to do that for ourselves but it's a matter of being aware of it and, and taking just a couple minutes even to to think about how we can make a space more effective for us. So thank you so much for sharing those tips, Brian. And thank you for joining us on this episode of Workspace Wellness. Thank you, Erica. Thank you.